Welcome to module two, which focuses on habits and managing your priorities. I'm Robert Bonifacio. Before I get to that, I trust module one has helped you to increase your clarity around your key strategic objectives and that you understand what your high payoff activities need to be and you have identified your key performance indicators. Remember, they are not tattoos. It's okay to change them. We just needed a clear starting point. Uh, they are your stake in the ground, if you will. Now, someone once told me that the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. There is another quote I quite like, and that is, a dream written down with a date is a goal. A goal broken down into steps becomes a plan. A plan backed by action becomes reality. Not sure who I can attribute that to, but it's a good one to remember. And I feel you are now on that journey. Now, let me give you a quick heads up regarding this module. Uh, it's the one that has the most to do. It's a bit longer and has a bit more work involved than the others, but I trust it will give you tons of value. So allow yourself a bit more time. In part one, we do a deep dive that looks into the role of your habits and routines why they are important and why they make your life easier. As part of that process, as you work through this module, you will need to be aware of what you are regularly doing and not doing day to day. And in some cases, identify the potential habits that you will need to replace rather than stop. Let me remind you about the implementation exercise at the end of each section. It's really important and it's an important part of the learning because it's the practical doing of what you are learning and then putting into action. It's an important element that makes this program different and so transformational. In this module, the practical exercise will ask you to start implementing a morning and an evening habit for your business. I'm committed to having an impact and facilitating change for you and I can't emphasize how important the implementation exercises are. Part two of this module is about priorities. It's all about helping you to focus on doing the important things. And it's about learning to act with a sense of urgency, which I will explain. I share with you the Eisenhower matrix. I believe this will be an important tool for you. It will help you to spend more time in quadrant two which is called the decide quadrant, rather than in quadrant one, which is always having to do what's urgent. I want you to have more control. I want to help you move from always dealing with the urgent to focusing on scheduling the important tasks more often where possible. I'll also share the questions that will help you to um, identify your priorities. And when we meet I'll explore how to create your own priority filters. There will be questions to help you start your day and I'll help you to prioritize what you do for your most important client. I wanna share why 80% is a great pass mark when it comes to managing your time and where it goes. So don't stress if you don't get it right all the time. This section also has an implementation exercise. Please do that. Good luck. Make sure you schedule time in your diary to do this work. Don't leave it to the last minute. Remember to send me your answers 24 hours before we meet so that I can review and prepare for you. I look forward to catching up uh, for our next session together. And remember, your time matters. See you in the next module.